Let's talk outboard engine covers, also known as cowlings. Well, I can honestly say that every time I take off this Suzuki cowling or engine cover, it's a bust a gut situation because I'm always afraid that, you know, I've done it here already and my engine isn't even that old. As right here, it's so easy. It's just a thin lip down here with my engine cover sitting on my old lazy boy that if you hit that hard you're gonna chip the paint and or chip the fiberglass or whatever the hell this thing's made out of to me it's almost like a two-person job I'm just saying you know because I always I always say how do these mechanics take these things on and off all day long I guess you just, it's kind of like a, any other job, you know, people go to say to me, oh yeah, you got to pull the anchor, oh, you need a trolling motor, you need a windlass, I don't even think about it, I go up there and poop, 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 and pop that anchor off the bottom with the boat, and then I bring it up because I've got a roller on the front where my anchor sits. So I don't even think nothing of it. So I guess that's how mechanics are. There's really nothing to grab other than back here on this plastic. So what this video is basically about is every once in a while when you're not doing anything, do you pull off your engine cover and give everything a good once over? Give it a check, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you why you should do it. Well, to start off, I'm running multiple ladders here. This is my little giant flipping light. I mean, this is one great ladder right here. I got them on my Amazon Tools of the Trade page for anybody who's interested in helping, you know, out the channel with so I could do more reviews. Over here I got my little giant super mega. This one's really sturdy. It just sits outside all the time. And that one sits in the bed of my truck because I need the ladder to get in my boat. But, you know, years ago, I guess it was a couple of years ago, I was showing something on my Suzuki or something and I didn't even think about it but somebody asked well, I got my oil dipstick in backwards I just got done checking my oil and running the engine and it in the barrel since I haven't run in about a week that's a different subject I was actually had my engine cover off one day and I had a, doing a video, I think it was probably about, you know, pulling the anodes out. Which, I'm going to get to that subject here in about a second. <coughs> Excuse me. But somebody said, what is, where do you get that orange tape? Where, or, where is that, what is that? Well, I can tell you what it is. It's some old orange masking tape that my uncle had when I inherited his toolboxes and I use it to write down the hours the last time my oil was changed and I use it to last write down the last time my spark plugs were changed don't you do that I do it everywhere I'll show you another place I do it here's under the hood of the big bad Dodge 2008 2500 Cummins turbo diesel <laughs> look I do it here too oil was changed in May 
fuel filter was changed in May. The crankcase filter was changed at 68,000 miles. The air filter was changed in May. It's just what I do. All right, well, the point of this video sort of is, you know, Suzuki, if you really wanted to, you could do like Mercury. It wouldn't bother me one bit. I know Mercury does some really different stuff compared to the Japanese brands. But you could put a door up here or something. You could put some fake louvers or something here, you know, for somebody to grab. You could do a, a lift door to check the oil. You could extend that oil tube up here. You could do all that too. And we could easily check our oil and maybe check it and pour it in and you know it wouldn't bother me either if over here where you take this out take the oil out it wouldn't bother me if it was one of those you know tighten to close crack it to open type fittings on there I'm almost wondering how I could put one on there because I am an avid oil changer I live by the rule of the Scotty Kilmer if you know who Scotty Kilmer is on YouTube I love old Scotty he's a little kooky sometimes you don't want to stand next to him that's for sure when he's talking you don't want to stand next to him because his hands are flying everywhere. If you were standing here and you were talking to Scotty Kilmer, he'd be batting you in the face because he's kind of crazy, kind of kooky. <laughs> but that's what I love about him. I love that he's an older guy who done forgot more than what most people know. The same kind of uh, definition I use for a sea daddy. My old sea daddy, old Cat Mirandal. I used to call him my sea daddy because he was one of those kind of guys that done forgot more than what most people will ever know about the fishing in Northeast Florida. So, uh, yeah, it wouldn't bother me one bit if this was extended somehow up and we could check your oil and then you got your oil fill right there. Those kind of innovations would not would not hurt my feelings, I don't believe. But let me get into the reason you pop. Let me get my flashlight going here. The reason you pop your engine cover every once in a while is I obviously you know I never can concentrate on just one thing sometimes because the phone's ringing and things like that but here's the anodes and I'm always on top of these anodes big time and one time I put one of the anodes in and I pinched the o-ring on this anno, anode so the next time I took the engine cover off, what did I see? I saw like a little buildup of salt right in here. Okay, a little salt here, a little salt there. It's kind of still there a little bit. A little salt over here. Because what was I getting? I was getting leakage. And I really noticed it right down in there I know, is where I noticed it. I was getting salt buildup because of the fact that I pinched one of those O-rings and I didn't know it. So I immediately, when I saw the salt and everything, I immediately pulled that out, cleaned it, did everything that I normally did. I actually ended up cleaning this whole side again with the anodes 
and put a new o-ring in and made sure I got it just right. <coughs> so, kind of the moral of the story is, is pop your engine cover. You know, a lot of people come home from fishing, they're tired, and oh, they drank too many beers, and ate too many sub sandwiches, and blah, 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 and cleaning fish, and all that stuff. Or it's getting dark, you know, plan ahead. You know, plan ahead, too. And you can change your oil when you get home, if you get home a little earlier when it's light outside or whatever. But pop your engine cover every once in a while is all I can tell you. If I didn't, over the years, if I didn't take my engine cover off, boy, there would have been some screwed up stuff. That's for sure, because I've gone through it all over the course of the years. And I not only have one engine cover that big heavy Suzuki cover but I also have my cloth cover here to protect the paint job on there so from sinkers and kids and stuff like that so I just wanted to go over simple little stupid thing but I mean a guy asked me literally on a video oh what's that what's this up here where do you get that where do you get that? Where do you get that? And I said, dude, it's fluorescent orange masking tape with marker on it. So I guess he didn't see it really well. And he was like, oh, my engine doesn't have that. So either way, if you're a Suzuki owner, let me know if, uh, you know, you bust a gut too. I bust a gut every time I take this off. And I'll tell you, when I had Hondas, the Hondas are so thin and light. I mean, there's nothing to them. But this one is really solid because it's it's like double wall insulated or something. And I think back in the day, Suzuki and Honda we're kind of at a, a decibel war, you know, who has the quietest engine or something like that. So I think Suzuki went all out on their engine covers here. But, you know, if you, that's one thing that I've seen on the Mercury, and I'm sure Mercury mechanics or somebody could, could chime in here is that's what I've seen on like the boat show videos for Mercury and all the Bass Pro dudes standing in their boat. You know, they can walk right up to their engine because their engine's right there. But they say, you always take care of your outboard better when the maintenance that you can do is easier to get to. Hence, hence, these side covers right here, oh my God, are those things a B-I-T-C-H, when you take them off to get them back on, because there's a rubber gasket in there with little like places where they clip, where the, they call them chaps or I call it the Tupperware, um, where it, this little, here's your engine cover like this, and there's this little tab that sticks out that you got to get in there. It was so bad that down in like Homestead, Florida, way down there in South Florida, I'm sitting here trying to put on my side cover chaps, and I am having such a hard time. And the phone rings. <laughs> and there's a guy who's a fishing guide who's seen my channel. And he's trying to put his on the exact same time that I'm sitting there on a five-gallon bucket, ripping my hair out, going, how can, how can these can come off so easy? But I can't get them back on. I'm going to look and see. 
what they're like to take off on like a Mercury or a, a Yamaha. I got all kinds of, uh, you know, evening time where I surf through YouTube on my big screen TV on Roku. Um, and I search for all different kinds of things. I'm going to look and see what the difference is on other engines for those side covers, if I can find any information. I mean, there's uh, Born Again Boating. He's a huge Mercury guy down there in the Keys, down in La La Land, you know. Um, and he makes everything, of course, look so easy. I mean, he pops off stuff and he bangs on stuff with hammers and screw I mean, I'm like, I watch him and I go, what? <laughs> so that's all this video is going to be about is do you bust a gut on a 250 or a 200 or a 300 Suzuki trying to get these off? Whew, I feel like I need to wear a damn, you know, hernia belt or something here. Well, it's not as much as that. I mean, I can pick it up and everything. The problem is, is I don't want to bang it up. So, either way, that's just a little, um, what I'm going through right now. Because I'm just checking my oil. Checking that uh, I didn't have any leaks around those O-rings on those uh, interior anodes. So, thanks for stopping by. Uh, put, you know, don't mind putting, put your observations down in the comments below. And I'll see you on the next one.